Alrighty. A little late today. Sorry about that. Let's see who's first. Max I. Is that Max I or Max L? Max I? Max I, Michelle, Apex, the Animal King, Cheeseburger, what's up, Zachary, Jacob, Goose, Liam, Ender Lane, random, random gamer man, holy cow, you guys are flying, Mr. B's, Miguel, I can't, I can't, I can't even keep up, you guys are so fast, it, it, the stats don't even update, I have no idea how fast it's actually going, it's just like, like, every name is a different name, it's, okay, Ty Gamer, hello, what's up guys, holy cow, it just exploded again, how are you guys all doing today? I'm doing good. It's Friday. It's a long weekend. Labor Day weekend, right? Canon Cosmo, can I change my name to Cosmo? I don't know. I, I, you can change your name to whatever you want, really. I mean, I'll get a little mad if you try and impersonate me or something like that. But today, we're going to build a cargo plane, guys, because uh, I have another project that I want to do with a cargo plane, but I don't have a cargo plane that I actually can use for it. So we're going to try and build one, and uh, I tried building one a long time ago, and it just became a lag fest. So I'm going to try and build one today. Hopefully it won't lag, and at least just get it working. And uh, and then the other project that I'm working on, we'll deal with that later. But I'm going to have to hook up the entire cargo plane, basically, with, with logic for control. So the first thing we're going to do is build the fuselage. And I was thinking for the fuselage, I'm going to make like a 23 block radius circle and kind of extend that out so because like a 23 block radius circle i think is a good um a good size because a lot of my vehicles are like 13 wide so 23 i should be able to fit a vehicle inside of it no problem if i want to do that and uh notifications work today that's awesome thanks so much ah, kitty kit cat you're amazing check this out yoink hawks champion Ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba. Anyway, so we're gonna make a um, pixel circle here. So I've got the pixel circle generator up. So I'm just gonna learn how to, or I'm just gonna do this real quick. So it's it's four, and then three, and then three, and then two, and then two. Uh, yeah, and then well, let's just go that way. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Why does that seem so small? That's not, that's not, that's 23, really? Across? Is that really? Is that 16? Okay, maybe it is. That, that seems really small. Does, you know, let's just, let's just try spawning four of these real quick and let's just see how big this actually is. I think it's, I think it's going to be way too small, but uh, we'll find out here in a quick second. All right, so we'll do that. We'll just get rid of that piece and we'll take that and we'll attach it to there. And then, I mean, it would have made more sense actually just to to um, weld half, but anyways. All right, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I, somehow I knew that was gonna happen. Um, yeah, it's good, it's good. We're off to a great start today so far, guys. Uh, having a good good day today, good Friday. Um, you know, as you can clearly see. See, that seems way too narrow, doesn't it? Nah, that's way too narrow. 23 is too small. All right, let's go like 33, shall we? That looks, you know, 33 might be a little better. Okay, so let's draw 33 here. Again, sorry, I can't see the chat. Just gonna really quickly, one, two, three, four, five this time. And then one, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then three again. Okay. This is really difficult to kind of see because there's so many flipping pixels okay and then it's two and then two right and then it's one and then it repeats the pattern backwards so that it's one two three one two three one two three and then it's five two three four five that should be good right 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 it's Saturday, not Friday. It is Saturday if you live in Australia, I believe. Is that, is, am I right? Is that, is that true? I mean, in Europe, I guess it's in Europe, in some parts of Europe, too. Or no, Australia's the last person, or are they the, no, they're, they're the first, right? Pretty much everywhere from, like, Germany or something over is probably on Saturday right now. 
that looks better. That that looks like a good width, actually. I, I can work with that. So let's make this a circle now. So let's just save this. What's up, Minnie? Welcome to the chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, I screwed that up. It needs to be it needs to be uh, odd width for this circle to work. Okay, and then we'll just do the same thing here. Okay, and then we need to just um, cut this one here and that one there. And then we should be able to just grab this here and weld it. Right, like that's a, that's a pretty good, that's a huge fuselage. Cause then I figure when we put a floor on it, you know, we'll have the floor at like this level which is what planes do, right? And then I can have some drop storage underneath to put like stuff, like thrusters and all that. You think it's gonna be too big? You think it's gonna lag too much? Oh, this is gonna be military for sure. You think you think 33 is too big? But I wanna, I wanna put a car in it. I agree, it's probably gonna lag like crazy, but we can, we can save ourselves. We'll do simple landing gear. We're not gonna do some crazy, I know realistic landing gear will do this like crazy pop down, but we can just do simple landing gear on a single piston that just goes up and down. So that'll save some frames. We'll use only like vanilla thrusters. We're not going to use these suspension glitches. I don't know. I think we can make this work. I mean, that's definitely huge. But I want to be able to fit a car in it. So, you know, having a having a cargo plane is great size. Yeah. I, I don't want to make it bigger. If it's bigger, it's going to be way too laggy. All right. So let's let's um, let's just do this real quick. We'll make a section and then we'll just multiply the section and uh, see how far that goes. <clears throat> Alrighty, like so. This is the most entertaining part of the stream I find. I, I honestly, the beginning of every build is always the most nerve wracking because it's like, you know, once the build starts to take shape, it sort of guides you into what you have to do next. But in the very beginning, you're not really you know, nothing's planned, right? Everything's up for what you do. And uh, I totally screwed that up. Like that, perfect. And so, you know, it's always very, you know, you screw something up and then you realize later, oh, I didn't think about this part of the design that I now have to rebuild all this stuff. And you know, when you're streaming, you don't want to have to build for like 14 hours straight. You want to make sure you actually, you know, get something done in the stream, so. Uh, I'm not gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna build this fuselage the whole way out. I just want to do one section fully filled in and then we'll uh we'll get the other section you know we could just build this into a giant like rolling wheel that would be kind of funny actually hold on let's let's do that too before we get going here this is gonna be great i got i got an idea once i finish this this is a incredibly stupid way of doing this by the way this would be more intelligent See, we just place more blocks and it'll slowly roll us in that direction. That's just great. Come on. There we go. Okay, and then we do that. And then, do, oh, nope, that was bad. That was bad. This one, okay, no. Uh, that one. X, X, Zane, green. X, X, make an opening hatch. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it will have a hatch on the back for sure. I don't think I'm gonna have a front hatch, but I'll have like a front side door. Um, gonna gonna try and make like something with like similar layout to the C-130, but I'm not actually gonna like make it specifically after any one plane. I'm just gonna make it look like some sort of a plane. Um, like I'm not I'm not trying to make it look like any particular plane or anything like that. I just want to uh, just want to have a cargo plane because the only real plane I have is the DC-3 and it's really small like it's not a it's not a very big plane it won't be able to do uh what I want this one to do so that's kind of the thing I'm thinking like at least the size of the Jetception plane which was you know relatively large but again that one was you know built a long time ago and I'm not going to recycle old stuff like that so going to uh come on build a new one it's gonna be better it's gonna be bigger it's gonna be faster don't know about faster it's definitely gonna be bigger this is uh i mean i don't think this lags at all until it's not i don't i don't know we'll see i, I really hope it, i can make a large plane like this without lagging but 
Again, just gonna simplify like pistons on landing gear and stuff like that to make it uh, better. There we go. So now we've got this giant tunnel. I mean, we could just make a subway, I guess, with this giant tunnel. All right, so let's save that. And then we'll uh, spawn more sections of it. I probably should, you know, actually just spawn like, like four and then we'll weld them and then... Oh, that's five. Okay, that's even better. Okay, so first things first, obviously, uh, we got to see how strong these things really are. So first things, we're going to take a seat and we'll put a seat right in the middle. And, uh, this way? I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be good, guys. This is, this is solid. This is, oh my god, I can barely do that, really? Oh boy, we're gonna need a lot of thrusters to move this thing. That's, that's it, eh? That's all you got? Okay, let's, let's put more on the back here. Hold on. Okay, no, this is this is looking good so far. There we go. Yeah, that's solid. You know, we should just we should just make vehicles like this. Uh oh, uh oh, no! Oh my God, is it gonna get back up? No, 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 we're we're trapped. That was that was, that was excellent. That was excellent. Good job, Con. Let's, let's go backwards this time. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is this is where I'm at. This is this is where my mentality is at today. So instead of building a plane, we are now building a paper towel roll. Um, it's very nice. Look at this thing go. Look at that. Oh boy. Yeah. No, we're good. This is, this is great. Oh, 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 solid. Yeah. No, perfect. First live live stream. That's good. Live live streams are usually the uh, best kind of live streams. I mean, you can always watch them after the fact too, but uh, it is kind of weird when you're watching a stream after the fact because I obviously, I don't have my chat on the screen. And I do that because sometimes, you know, people like to say offensive things in the chat and I don't want, you know, the entire world to see the offensive things that the chat has to say. But uh, yeah, it is kind of weird when I'm talking to, to nobody. I love you, shout me out. I Is it Ikran? Ikran Sha? Love you too, buddy. Have, hope you're having a good weekend. Good Friday. It's good days. It's a good weekend. Uh, I only have, like, you know, three weeks left of my work. This actually looks like a, a paper towel roll. Doesn't look like a plane, but anyways. <clears throat> this is going to be way too long, I think. What's up, the master minecart? Are you, like... Like, you're like Dan the Diamond Minecart, but you're the Master instead. I don't know, which is better? Is it better to be a Diamond or a Master? Actually, that's not... That's a little long, isn't it? Let me chop this right here. Greetings from Poland. Well, welcome to the stream, Rad. How are you doing today? Greetings from Canada to Poland. All right, that's good. As you can see, I, I have a very good scientific method for uh, deleting, you know, the exact right amount of distance. Come, come on. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we'll just go inside here. I really, you know, one of these days for the stream, I'm just gonna be like, all right, streaming, making a giant paper towel. Blah. Oh, I'm losing my voice today. Streaming, making a giant paper towel roll, and just, like, literally sit here and just make a giant paper towel roll, because, I mean, that's pretty much what we've got here, and it looks... It still looks a little long, doesn't it? All right, well, let's put let's put a fake floor in it first and see what we got. So the fake floor is going to be... Like, that height? One, two, three... Yeah, that, that gives me four underneath, so I could put a thrust underneath if I wanted to. So this will be like the floor to the um, to the plane, right? So like the cargo bed gives us some room underneath to put you know logic and circuits and stuff and whatever else we need or some extra thrusters. Um, 
I don't really want to put the lift thrusters underneath because obviously that's very unstable if you have all the weight on top it has to balance really easily if you put the thrusters on top picking it up it's a little bit better um, but we'll see I think I think this will be good to start anyways all right well I still don't know if it's too long or not it seems like it's it's too long what do you guys say? We're on the mothership? Where's the mothership? Well, the mothership... So this was, like, kind of my, my idea to replace it because the mothership is, is become a lag machine. And so I'm kind of frustrated. It's because I'm putting, like, too many bearings in too small a space. So I'm going to try and do something here that doesn't have nearly as many bearings. It'll be just more, like, static objects and hence shouldn't lag nearly as much, but we'll find out. Um, no idea how to do this well. The whole, like, curving inwards more like how to make a nose cone I, I have no idea how that's supposed to work honestly like nose making nose pieces in scrap mechanic like stuff where it's got a curve down to uh, i'm terrible at that like moonbo does a pretty good job of it but me not so much so um yeah this is actually my least favorite part of this entire build is trying to figure out how this has to slope inwards to make the proper like you know front appearance I mean, the back will be a pain too, but you know, I, yeah. I'm not good at aesthetic stuff, guys. I'm really not. It's a scary thought trying to do aesthetics. They're like the worst thing in the world for me. It's like, how do you, how do you make circle? See, that, that needs to extend out more, right? So like this needs to go like this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Ah. Okay, like. See, no, because then I need, like, an intermediate piece, don't I? See, this is... I'm terrible at this. All right, well, let's... First of all, let's build, like, our, ourselves a, a work platform here. This would be probably a better idea. Let's, let's just get a nice, clean... There we go. Like, a nice build platform. Look at this. And then we can... Right? We can just put this down here. Here. Right, and we can move as we need to. This is, oh, this is so much better. See, look at that. Now we can just move around. I can science. Yeah, don't worry. I promise after the stream, like not during the stream, because obviously this is going to take a while. I might not even finish this plane during the stream. I might have to do uh, more of it off camera. We'll see, because obviously uh, we do have to record multiplayer Monday. Um, and I am running late as per usual because like, you know, that's the story of my life recently Been really really busy with real life stuff, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting there like like I said I am actually, you know quitting my job very very soon um, Like the paperwork's already been done for it So I will be leaving my job like my real life job. And I'll be doing YouTube full-time for a while anyways and um yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a whole new set of challenges I'm gonna try and put out, you know daily content obviously and uh you know keep up with that daily content for sure but um yeah it's gonna be a whole new experience for me and so uh, i'm really excited for it but uh, of course that does mean that uh, i'm currently really really busy at work and trying to still do youtube and work at the same time and uh you know just try to get things cleaned up at work before i actually leave the company and do this so that's why videos have been slow in case you guys are wondering I haven't forgotten about YouTube, and uh, it is just transitioning out of that. So I'm really happy for it, but uh, yeah. Right now, I um, my job, I'm basically a programmer, if you want to put it put it simply. I, I write code, so it's the easiest way to explain my job. I write code for automotive stuff, which is about as exciting as it sounds, to be perfectly honest. Like, not, not code that goes into car computers. I write code that, like, you know, automotive manufacturers deal with. So it's just meh. But, gonna be doing some cool stuff on the YouTubes. Alright, that still looks, it looks, looks pretty... I feel like we're building, like, a sausage roll. My ability to make stuff curve. It's pretty flippin' terrible. I feel like I'm, I'm going about this wrong, ain't I? I have to, like, slowly shrink the circles from, like, 33 down. Like, the kind of the way I did with the blimp, rather than do it this way. You know what? 
We need like a 33 circle and then like a 31 circle and then like a 29 circle because otherwise this is going to look stupid because it's always going to keep the same. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, so I got to look up. This is going to take a while. I got to look up like every different pixel circle from 33 downwards. It's going to get easier though as they get smaller, but we're just going to we're just going to have to build a lot of pixel circles and then somehow mount them. Don't worry, guys. I, th I think that's the solution to make this look less dumb. It's still going to look pretty dumb, though. Like, I, don't, I don't even know how you get the dimensions of a cockpit on a plane, to be perfectly honest. Alright, let's try the... So that's... that's Okay, perfect. Okay. Because that's what I did with the blimp, and that seemed to work out well, right? So that's, that's a bunch of useless garbage. Okay, so let us get a 31 pixel circle and let's uh, let's make that real quick. So that would be uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. And then one, two. And then one, two. And one, two. Oh my god, that's one, two, three, four, five. Holy cow. One, two, three, four. And then this one, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can count, guys. Really, like, the best counter. Like, I, in my school report cards, you say, con, best counter. Like, just flat up. I can't even make this up. It was so good. Yeah, so that's how good I am at counting. All right, um, yeah, that's good. And then we'll do, this goes this way. Okay, good. And then like this goes like this. I don't know why I didn't just, yeah, that doesn't even make sense. All right, and then we'll go like this. And then we, we gotta chop that. And then we go like this and perfect. So this is a 31 circle now. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually start saving these cause I'm gonna save that as 31 cause otherwise I'm just gonna lose them and it's gonna be bad news. Okay, so like, I think the whole thing should be in one one from every side, right? That's totally not going to work that way. Uh, how am I going to figure out what height this needs to be at? Okay, so hold on. Actually, that's up on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 above. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should be here. There we go. Center. That looks better, I think, maybe. I don't probably, sort of. I don't know, let's just... Then we'll extend this one out by, like, one block, I guess. I, I don't... Again, I really don't know what I'm doing here. This is probably actually going to look more like a rocket. I don't, I don't know how to... I'm going to deal with the cockpit after, I guess, but that's okay. I probably should have duplicated this before I welded it on. I'm gonna do that next time, I think. Just for the first couple, I want them to be sort of like, like you know, so it has a gradual taper rather than just like, you know, right straight onto it. Okay, and like this, and then like this. I have no idea how far we're even gonna get though this stream. This is a lot of work. This is one of those projects that I probably should have, you know, not done on a stream. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Worst case scenario, I do more off stream and I record it or I, you know, stream more of it on like Sunday or something or whatever. We'll see how far we get. But uh, I'm just realizing now as I'm making all this aesthetic stuff, I'm realizing this is a lot of just placing blocks, which is fine. All right, let's get 31, 29 circle now. So 29 is one, two, three, four. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, Almost missed a $10 super chat from Daniel Davenport. There better be a super guppy version of this later. Like what? A small version of the plane? Is that what, what's a super guppy? Is that a smaller version of a thing? I, I'm terrible with aviation stuff. I love planes. I love how they work, but I don't know any of the lingo. But um, yeah, if that's a, I, I I'm going to, I don't want to give away what I'm doing with this plane, but I'm doing cool stuff with this plane. I promise it's not going to happen in this stream. And that's why I'm not going to say anything about it. Cause the expectation will get set here. And then the reality will be somewhere like this. And then scrap mechanics performance will bring it down to here. So 
I don't want to I don't want to give away anything until I can prove that I can make it work But uh, I do have an idea in my head for what I want to do with this plane Okay, that's one two three and then this and then one two three and then one two three four and Then one two three four and then this is another one Nope so if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna, I gotta turn my phone off there. There we go. If you guys wanna guess at what I'm doing, go for it. But uh, I, I don't think anyone's gonna get it. It's definitely something that's never been done before. At least I've never seen it before. Maybe somebody's done it. I can't really say it's never been done before. I'm sure somebody's come up with some crazy thing similar or the same thing, but we'll see. Okay, this is 29 now. Making all the circles. 29 here. And we'll just weld this to that. Okay, and then this will be probably up like four instead of five. So there's like well, four up. One, two, three, four will be there. Nope, that's two. What? Three up? Oh, because it gets shrunk by two, right? Okay, three up. Come on. No. No, it is four up. I'm an idiot. You know, let's just let's just bring this closer so I can stop running all over the place. That would be even easier, actually. Okay, so four up. No. Did I make this whole thing too small? Did I skip? Like, no, I went 33 and 31. So one, two, three, four, five. Looks good. It's looking good. Okay, good. Now we'll just start doing single radius circles until we uh, bring the whole thing to a point, and then I'll worry about carving out how I'm going to fit the cockpit on it. Although the cockpit should probably be up there. So maybe here we drop it with a little bit less of a height. 29. Let's go 27 width, and let's go like 24. Three height because then we can shrink the top down and have room for a cockpit becomes a bit elliptical I'm trying to think if that's gonna work yeah we'll try that you know let's do it it's gonna be weird okay one two three four and then one two three four and then one two three and then two, 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 and then that, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So that's one corner. And then we're just actually going to build the whole half because otherwise it'll be very confusing as to how we're welding it. So there's four, and then three, and then two, and then two, and then two, 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 two and then one. And then three. I know, guys. This is the this is the con counting show today. We're uh, today on the con counting show. We're gonna learn how to make a plane by building different sized circles. So far, we're doing really well. No idea what this is gonna look like, by the way. This might look might look absolutely terrible. To be perfectly honest. All right. Let's see if this does anything. All right. Let's go. Yeah. No, that's good. It's solid. I don't, I don't even know what we're going to call this anymore. 27, I guess. 27 question mark. That seems appropriate. Alright, and then this one's probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well. No, it's 3. What am I talking about? I'm just, I'm so crazy today. It doesn't even matter. No, it's 4. Son of a... This one. Let's, uh, let's double this up. Because I have a feeling we might want it doubled. Alright, I'm going to check on you fellow people in the chat. Make it huge. Well, I am... This is... I mean, this is pretty big, don't you think? I think I think it's pretty big. Compared to the size of the dew, that's a, that's a pretty big plane. Read the rules, fam. Pretty much, yep. <laughs> the way to make a dimension on the front of the plane... Oh my god, you guys are... You guys are... What's it based off? It's based off of my imagination. That is the model of cargo plane. It is the 
uh, K6482.5963 uh, yeah that's gonna be good I can I can deal with like filling in that later and put the cockpit up there and then taper that back more that'll be good all right and then let's reduce it down so we'll just go 25 by 21 reduce it on both sides there and then we'll keep going here we're almost we're, we're getting there and then we're we can throw away the pixel circle crap one two three four five six seven one two three four one two three four one two three actually i'm gonna go on team speak so cosmo can chat with you guys while i'm drawing circles because my circle skills are top notch top freaking notch man top notch indeed Although I guess Hawk could come chat too if he wants. Two, three. User your Top of the morning to you, Connies! My name is Jack Septicai. And today. Hello, everybody. What's up, buddy? Hey, dude. Hey, oh. JJRC. Hey, Lane. Hold on, who are you again? Oh, um, dude. Some Just some irrelevant dude on Twitter. I yeah, hear you only got. You only got. Followers. Oh, 46? Yeah. Oh man, that's it's your your get out of my get out of my team speak, man. I can't I can't <laughs> be seen associating with you. You forty six. One day you guys will hear the story behind this. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day you'll hear the story behind this. Now, long story short, guys, there was a there was a there was a guy on Twitter who was trying to make fun of Cosmo for having a low follower count, and I kind of laugh at this because like you know everybody who's ever done anything like ever with social media at some point in time has had a low follower count and so he was trying to make fun of cosmo on twitter for having a low follower count and then i just said like hello and he didn't want to say anything back to me and i was very i was very disappointed because he was insistent that your social media relevance is everything in this day and age yep. and i think that's a very sad way to live your life if you think the only thing that matters is uh how relevant people on the internet find you because that's you know i mean like let's be real there's there's other things to life than the internet i know it's shocking to say you know there's there is a world outside there's grass there's trees <laughs> believe it or not it yeah, doesn't man, I, it does in fact exist out there i full-on got cyber bullied yesterday yeah it was, it was it was a lot of cyber bullying <laughs> By the way, the guy that we're talking about has only like 1,200 followers anyways, so he was, you know, it's like... He wouldn't say a word to Khan, but yeah. he was picking on me the whole time. Yeah, it was just very sad. It's like, come on, dude. Like, no one, <laughs> no one's got time for that. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Don't, don't embarrass yourself, you know? Like, you know, everybody, everybody struggles in the beginning, and everybody needs to start somewhere. And if you think that, you know, you're going to be world famous by being mean to people, then you're an idiot. I mean, maybe you will get famous, but you'll get famous for the what wrong reason. What is this reason. outside he speaks of? <laughs> well, so what you do is you take your computer, right? And you, you get an extension cord and you bring it outside your house. And then you can still watch the stream and all sorts of stuff. But, uh, you know, you're outside at least getting that fresh air, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one, two. D. Yeah, no, it's, it's totally good for you. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. I'm doing good, man. I'm I'm the circle drawing master. <laughs> yeah, this literally should have been called the circle. Like circle stream. The pixel circle simulator 2018. Yeah, pretty much. That's like <laughs> literally what I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna rename the stream right now. Uh, pixel circle right, generator. Guys, I'm giving all you spammers a chance by only deleting your comments, but I'm just gonna time you out. <laughs> Pixel Circle Simulator 2017. There, that should get the people going. All right, everybody, check out that new awesome stream title. Um, very important, <laughs> so everyone knows we're playing Pixel User Circle Generator. Hello, user. Who's that? Hey, it's cousin Yuri. We're on stream right now. Oh yeah, this I, is. I'm watching your stream. You're making cargo jet. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually playing Pixel Circle Je Simulator 2017. Pixel circle simulator. Nice. This actually looks like a cargo jet that somebody like punched in the face. I kind of felt like I should have continued the too too wide pattern. 
Somebody says you messed up. Yeah. What? How did I mess up? But I feel like it's a troll. People always say <laughs> I mess up, man. It's like every stream. And sometimes they're right, but then sometimes people are just trolling and then... Get you thinking, right? Yeah. I don't know where I messed up. Like, if you're talking about this, it's supposed to do that. Man gaming, no more whisper cool. outs. I'm Apparently I scare watching, people. I'm going to go back to work. I'll talk later. All right, go back to work. Have good work. I, I think what I screwed up is I didn't think to paint this stuff before I did it. Mm. This is going to be... Can, uh... I'm just going to blueprint edit it afterwards when right. I'm done the stream. Because I'm not, I'm not mass painting everything. I will just mass paint it in one shot and then... Uh... That's right. Yeah, you can just, guys, you can just go to, like, your text file where the blueprint's stored, and you can just edit the color of every block, color parameter, and set them all to be the same, and then it'll just mass base code it. It's kind of silly that the devs don't have a, you know, hold shift and alt or something and use the paint tool and base coat the whole design. Because, like, you know, that should be something that they could easily put in. That's right. It would be nice. Yeah, like paint all. <laughs> yeah, like just, because, you know what, like just most of the time you're just painting the base coat anyways, and then you're just, you know, once you're done painting the base coat, all you end up doing is just doing the details and stuff. And it's like, at least if I could just, you know, mass paint the whole thing one color, like that saves a whole ton of work. But I don't think the devs uh, really care at this point. And I guess in survival mode, you're going to have to actually have paint as a, as a resource, right? Because they've got, uh, you know, the paint tool, you can reload it, right? So I'm assuming you're going to have paint as a resource and different color dyes. You'll have to find right. the different color dyes and that kind of thing, maybe. I, I really don't know. No one's no one knows about survival mode, to be honest. I'm excited for survival mode. It's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. Pre pretty much all I'm going to play when it comes out. What are you basing this cargo plane off of? People keep asking. My imagination, guys. Like, seriously, I'm just trying to make... Oh, I screwed up again. Son of a... Ding dong! Oh no, actually, you know what? We can we can fix this. We can fix this. I'm not I'm not rewalding this. We'll just have some extra thick part my here. My cat just uh, rubbed his face. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I guess his face also in my face. I gotta go get some allergy pills. I'll be back. <laughs> Cosmo's allergic to a cat. And has a cat. Well, I'm not allergic to him from a distance. If we don't cuddle, I'm fine. But if as long cuddle, as I'm like... As long as I don't touch the cat, I'm not allergic <laughs> as long as to I'm the not cat. In the same room as the cat, I don't touch the cat, I don't see the cat, I yeah. don't smell the cat, or or hear the cat. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, then I won't have any issues, guys. Just saying. All right, uh, that's that's what I want to delete. All right, this is this is really good. This pixel circular stuff. Pixel circle simulator. All right. Sarah Rodriguez, you've been a naughty girl. Time out. Whoa, that sounded weird. Old fam emojis, man. That is a lot of emoji spam, actually. Show we make random sounds because I was put up to it. You were asked to make random sounds. I was asked to make specific random sounds. Yes. You know what a cow actually <laughs> says? A cow doesn't say moo. Goes Shazoo. True story, man. <laughs> Actually, Tell I Con, you messed up on the top, Con. What What do you mean well, I messed up on the too. top? It looks like you're off by one at the top. Listen, listen here, guys. <laughs> listen here. I probably am. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. No, actually, am I, did I actually mess up by one? I don't think I did. There's supposed to be a compressed open section there, because I have to put a cockpit in. There you go, guys. Compressed open section. Well, no, that doesn't, that didn't make sense. Shut up. Leave me alone. I'm just... <laughs> this is gonna, this will look good. This will look kind of okay, I guess, sort of. Oh, man, I am... You'll just need to bring it in. I am all. tired today. I am. I'm tired too. I don't know I'm like really exhausted today. I don't know what it is, but like, I mean, I was up late last night, but like not that late. Maybe too many uh, late nights. You just had a happy accident, or oh, I just had a happy accident. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't poop my pants. If that's what you're wondering. <laughs> that's a happy accident. <laughs> that, well, that's that's an accident. I guess it's not really a happy one. It depends, I guess. We have. Uh... 
Let's see if I can find the message here. This chat is moving super quick today. I know. 55 people watching. Damn, no, no, so. chat's chat's big today for some reason. I don't I don't understand what's going on. Is it just because it's Friday before like the long weekend? Everyone's all excited to be off for the long weekend. Right. How anyway, many How I'm many sorry. you guys got school again on Monday? Everyone got school, or is everyone everybody, <laughs> everybody already in school again? Everybody in chat, how many people are actually in school now versus how many people have to go like to school on Monday? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at chat here for a sec. Holy cow, like the emoji spam guys. Stop with the emoji spam. Late, you're in school, in school, everyone's in school? No. Not in school, in school, in school. A lot of people are already in school. Yeah, see man? It's just it's just us Canadians that have school late for some reason. Like I mean I'm I'm not going back to school obviously because you know I'm I'm done school, but um, like the Canadian schools go back like next week after the Actually, weekend. Funny story, schools in Edmonton start uh, one two weeks early because they want to take advantage of the summer uh, being a small time. Oh, that's yeah, that's true. Okay, well, so in, in, there you in have reality, it. Reality, Ontario's just doing it all wrong. So Ontario's just backwards. I live in the backwards province. Okay, working on Jit. Uh, I really uh, wish it was just one person spamming emojis, but it's like... I know, it's like 20 different people spamming. Do I have to change <laughs> the rules? Like, No, I think uh, I think these are bots, honestly. No emoji spam. I mean, I figured out... I mean, know, that's kind of implied with no, spa no spamming chat. No but... <laughs> spamming chat, doesn't it? You know, guys, here's a simpler way to deal with it. Um... I'm just gonna start blocking people who, uh... I was gonna say, I'm gonna stop tying people out and just gonna stop straight up. Just start blocking them, because yeah. they're just gonna... They, they If you guys want to spam emojis, like, there's no there's no benefit to it. Especially not when there's, like... like you're just making it difficult for everybody else to communicate. Exactly. Like, all you're doing is blocking the chat for everyone else so that no one else can see what's going on, so... Just, uh, just start banning them. I think now it needs to start going down, actually, and this needs to be yes. one. Yeah. Not two. But yeah, it's not very considerate for other people in the chat. Bye, Felicia. Cause uh, yeah, and it's not anything like it's really simple. I mean, it's no no spamming chat. If you want to spam a whole thing of emojis, there's no, you're not you're not providing anything to the, the chat community. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're at 19 by 15 now. Again in uh, Pixel Circle Simulator 2017. Um, really good game. I recommend buying it for everybody who. Uh, just can't get enough of making pixel circles. Actually, you know, you could make a really simple game that way. Like, think about it. You could say, you know, have somebody say, like, make... You have to make a circle that's, like, 10 by 10 or whatever. And then it checks to see how close you came to the real thing. Although there's really, like, you just memorize stuff, so there's really nothing to it. Never mind, that'll be really boring. Forgot I just said anything. It's not a, not a Mark Zuckerberg idea. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and then do that, and then build another one here. Man, it's already quarter after seven, and I'm still working Somebody's on Somebody's like, the... is your cargo plane almost done, Con? <laughs> it's quite done, yes. <laughs> Right, Hank? 100%. Dude, this, this cargo plane is about as sound as Trump's presidential plans. Like, that's, that's, you know... <laughs> that's where we're at right now. Looks like you're building a wall. Oh yeah, totally. Well, I mean, at this point, I might as well just build the whole circle. That's seven, three, two, two, one, three, Four, five, two, two. One, two. Shout out to How To Gaming. How To oh, Gaming? I wouldn't say it's very hard to game. Oh, you're, you're quiet again. Crap, I forgot. I need to turn you up. Hey, Mr. Beasons. Mr. Beasons? He's been around for a long time, too. One of the OGs, for sure.
I mean, this is this actually isn't looking nearly as, as bad as I thought it was going to look. I mean, it's still going to look pretty bad, I think, but it's not it's not too bad. All right, what's the next one? Ba, ba, ba. Make a hot tub in the cargo plane. Yeah, Alex, Alex, Dennis, I hate to break it to you. I didn't really like school either. You're from England, and you're uh, watching it from Ireland. That is awesome. And yes, I am going to close up the nose. Oh, not, that was the wrong button to press. Uh, 15 by uh, 11. We're almost, we're almost done there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Playing so much Pixel Circle Simulator. This game's so good. I mean, I can't even... I don't even want to put it down. It's so good. <laughs> so good Pixel Circle Simulator really is. See, I want the nose to go, like... Okay, yeah, and then we need to go... Like, this needs to change. This needs to be... 13... 11 by, like, 7. That's terrible. Will it fly? I don't think so, Malone. <laughs> no. Not yet. Not, not anywhere close. We still gotta... Oh man, I still gotta put like wings on it, and I still gotta. Oh, so much work to do. I'm just gonna take a nap. All right, and then when we're when I wake up, we'll uh, we'll continue going here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause here real quick and just take a nap. And um, yeah, that's what that will happen. All righty, well, it looks like I'm taking over building. Yeah, perfect. Sounds good. <laughs> Just, you know, throw some thrusters on it, a bunch of controls, good to go. You come back, this thing is just like a monster truck with an airplane fuselage. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's like, uh, you didn't really give me clear instructions, so I made a truck out of a plane. Uh, yeah. Instructions on clear, throwing toaster in the bathtub. Alright, uh, what the... there we go. And then this goes like this. Robert Kennedy saying you should make the front open like a cargo plane. I thought about that, but but lag. <laughs> not even so much lag as I just I don't want to make the front open. Cause I want to have just the back open for what I'm what I'm doing. But remember, guys, I'm not I'm not just using this to say here's a plane. I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna have it as a cargo plane. There is going to be an overall purpose to this at some point in time. Why does that seem like it's too tall? Probably because it is freaking too tall, isn't it? It's stupid. I made this too tall. God dang it! <laughs> Cut a block away and reweld. You know Problem what? Solved. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, oh, it is it actually. Work that way. It actually is the exact same shape. Oh my god, you're actually right. It's literally just this. This is the smaller version of it. The tube looks like a ball joint pen now. <laughs> that look, that's actually looking pretty good. I'm getting pretty excited by this already. EH Games asking me to remind you about his comment. He didn't say what the comment was, but I'm reminding you of it. Alright. I have been reminded of your comment. Check. What was your comment though? I have no clue. I love I, I no no offense to anybody in the chat. I don't want to I don't want to say this to sound rude, but it is very funny when people are like, "Hey, did you see my comment?" and it's like in, there's like a sea of, you know, just a ton of messages. And I usually I can't even read the comments as fast as I think they, they appear. I try to read as fast as possible, but it is very difficult sometimes, especially when uh, somebody notices that I'm like, you know, I don't know, shouting out or something and I give like one shout out and then the chat just explodes and it's like I can't even read the names as fast as you guys can type them you know so and then people are like turn slow mode off and I'm like even with slow mode it's like impossible you know that actually doesn't look half bad I mean it looks like a ball it does look kind of like a crayon doesn't it <laughs> I gotta trim that back I'm gonna do a lot of a lot of interior a lot of stuff. Okay. 
Looks let's, like a bird. Let's Looks like in front of a bird. Yeah, kind of, doesn't it? Let's uh, cut a hole here. Because I want an entrance on the side here anyway, so I'm just going to cut a hole so I can get in. This is uh, perfect. Lambo Cambo. There, I said it. Lambo Cambo? Right. It's like, say my name, so I did. Say my name, say my name. <laughs> copyright strike. Copyright is. <laughs> Getting the copyright. <laughs> ah, I'd be sure. impressed if you got a copyright strike over that. I, That'd be I, pretty impressive. <laughs> I mean, to an extent, it would be funny, but it would be sad all at the same time. It'd be like, oh. Yeah. But yeah, if you get a copyright strike from singing a song, that would be. Although I don't think you can, but don't quote me on that one. <laughs> like I'm, I'm 99% sure singing a song yourself falls under fair use. But actually, no, I'm, I'm, um, 100% certain I'm wrong. Never mind. Actually, wait, I don't know. I just stay away from music, guys. To be perfectly honest. Hey, check it out. It's Moombo's outro music. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, it is too. All right. The comment was talking about adding a throttle control with sensors on an engine. Throttle control with sensors on an engine would be cool. Um, you talking like for like a piston engine type thing, like another piston engine thing? If you're talking about a piston engine thing, yes, I have a plan for the piston engine. Actually, I saw a couple of the comments right after I posted, and one of them was really good. And I'm like, oh, this is a, a great idea for it. So I'm I'm probably gonna do that comment. Um. But yeah, I do have a couple ideas for what to do with the piston engine. But um, if you're talking about this, I would like to put a throttle on this as well with different speeds. That's going to be the cockpit area. And let's just uh, build ourselves a ramp up sort of thing. You know, if you guys get untimed out and then start swearing at me, chances are you're just gonna get banned again. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> like, I, there's a reason I, prom I time you out, I promise so. <laughs> you guys, yeah, Cosmo doesn't abuse mod powers. I, I can I can assure you of that. Because if he did, I would I would remove him from being a mod. It's pretty simple, but oh, yeah. it, it's just, uh, yeah. Alright, so this is this is clearly... A struggle here. Khan is having a struggle day today. <laughs> Ultra Dragon Watier, what's happening? <laughs> um, what is going on? <laughs> good question. I'd like to figure that out myself as well. No, I'm, I'm currently just building stairs to get up into. Oh, of course, I would. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't I have? Clearance here to actually walk up into the cockpit. I I'm just building like stairs to get up into the cockpit because you know scrap mechanic doesn't have ladders. But it's fine because I'm gonna need this front nose section to do other stuff anyways. Because the plane's gonna need some other stuff that I'm gonna put in the front nose, so don't worry about it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put stuff in the nose during the stream, but I'm gonna need it for later. So it'll be good. Okay, that's better. I can walk up here. Walk down. Yeah, that's good. Solid. Okay. And then we'll just, uh, you know, we'll build the cockpit back a little bit like this. I think that's close enough. Like, I, I want to make sure you can walk underneath. Of course you can't. Still terrible at this game. All right, perfect. So let's, let's try... Can I walk underneath that? Oh, I can. Okay, that's good. No, go get... What the... You know, sometimes stairs in this game are the glitchiest thing. Like, just building, like, a set of, you know, like, simple going up one block increment stairs. And then you try and walk up them, and it's, like, the glitchiest thing for some reason. I don't understand why. Your character just, like, bounces around. He doesn't, you know, go up them straight. Like, we should just do a Stairmaster competition in Scrap Mechanic, where it's like, all right... Here's a bunch of stared treadmills. Whoever can stay on the treadmill the longest with their their dude wins. Although, to be honest, host would win that every time. This is me rambling because I'm basically just placing really boring amounts of wooden blocks. 
It's a very exciting stream today. Look at that. That's a nice view. This is this is looking this is looking solid actually. Tell Khan to have a smaller plane that comes out of the big plane, then a smaller plane that comes out of the small plane, and then drops bombs. So it's like uh, it's one of those Russian doll planes, but weaponized. So like I'm I, I'm doing <laughs> I'm this plane is gonna have some cool stuff in it. It's gonna combine a few features from different builds. Um, that's kind of part of what I'm doing, but not to that extreme level. It's not going to be like an object in an object in an object in an object. It's not even going to be a plane within a plane. But uh, this is going to be a project that will for sure deploy stuff, but it'll do do it differently. You will you guys will see. Don't worry. This is going to be good. It's going to be exciting. Again, it's not going to be today, though, because like this is a lot of work. How much? See, that's just a flat surface now that looks silly. So I got to slope that more. Of course, I'm gonna just fall off. Okay, let's just. So that's gotta like taper in more, right? I need I need to build some scaffolding. So many comments. Yeah, I know you guys are nuts. You guys are going crazy, crazy with the comments today, which is great. I really, really love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys make me so happy. I mean, let's be real, guys. Like, I posted my first video ever. Like, ever on the channel on January 2nd, 2016. I had 27 subscribers when I posted my first video. And those 27 people were all people like I knew, basically, in real life. I had 27 subscribers. I posted my first video. And a year and a half later, I quit my job. That's pretty awesome. And none of it would have happened without you guys. Let's, like, that's that's the reality of it. And any content creator who thinks that they can make it without the support of their own community is, is just is just dumb, in my opinion. You know, your community makes you who you are. Don't get a big, arrogant head and, you know, don't get to the point where you're like, oh, I can, I can do this no matter what. It's like, no, man, you need your community. Your community enjoys watching your content, but you need them more than they need you. And uh, the moment that you're a content creator and you forget that, that's when you start to act like an idiot. And you just, you know, you screw yourself over in the long run. But I am always so appreciative of everything you guys do for me because you've made me able to do something that makes me really, really happy for a job. And uh, I'm just glad you guys get to enjoy my content. Because otherwise, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to work in uh, the same job I was working for my life. And again, it's all because of you guys. All right, so now we're done with the sappy crap. Um, but yeah, it, I, I really, I can't stress it enough. All right, let's try and fix this. This is actually getting, I'm, I'm liking this the more I build, to be perfectly honest. I love how every, everybody just went kind of quiet after that one. Well, I realized I should probably reply to some of my YouTube comments as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just since, I, uh, I give you this chat was being kind of good right now, and they weren't spamming. I give I you a speech about it, and then you're like, "Oh man." <laughs> oh, that's what you were talking about? Yeah, I was just talking about oh, you know. No, I was funny. talking I about you know the content creators who get um, they get too headstrong, right? And they think right. that you know. I can do this regardless of my audience. It's like it's wrong. You're wrong. You, you're no, you're only as good wrong, as your yeah. community. And the moment you think that you're bigger than your community is the moment you fail. Oh, Hands down. Hey, uh, Jaden brought up a good point. You should probably save this thing before you stuff it. You know what? I was gonna strap like five thousand thrusters to it, light it up, <laughs> and then we're gonna spend three hours trying to chase it down. That's gonna be the new, the new game we're gonna play Osmodo, today. Osmodo, say cons gaming backward, please. Knack. Knack? Oh yeah, it is Knack. I'm not gonna pronounce gaming backwards because it's just the most contorted word you could possibly say. But knack. Right? It, it just sounds French. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Stop ignoring us, Khan. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not. Getting called out, bro. I'm, I'm ignoring you now. Yeah, getting lit up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Son of a... This is actually very... I'm, I'm realizing... 
We have uh, people fishing for, for rumors in the chat. What why you... did Moonbo quit MM? Uh, well, Moonbo posted a video about why he quit MM, but basically he just said he wanted to focus on other things on his channel. More individual things. So that was that was all. He's said he might be coming back though soon. I don't I don't know. But he, he posted a video on his channel, so if you guys want to know, like I mean, you know, by all means, go to his channel and check out his video on it. But he did he did post a video saying like this is why I'm quitting. I didn't really watch the whole thing to be perfectly honest. I just talked to him about it. But yeah, he said uh, you know he just wanted to uh, take a break from it and do something a bit different. And which I mean, nothing wrong with that. Each, nope. each to his own. Yep, and uh, people people need a break to go and do something different. Yeah, expand their creative. Um, capacity so yeah I mean I personally love multiplayer Monday that's why I keep doing it but I can get it I mean it is it is a very you know it's a time-consuming thing that we do every week you know my Friday nights consumed by streaming and uh, multiplayer Monday which is fine don't get me wrong I don't, I don't mind that I am gonna uh, in a couple weeks when I'm full-time youtuber and not actually um, when I'm a full-time youtuber in a couple weeks I am going to be doing uh, more streams a week than just one. Son of a... This is getting super frustrating. My scaffolding sucks. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to, like, mirror both sides here. It's very difficult to do when you're dealing with, like... We're dealing with all this crap. Okay. Got some Tetris pieces. That was good. <laughs> no, it's very it's very difficult to like make um like they need a mirror mode in scrap mechanic, look, let's be real. Just the ability to like go enable mirror mode and everything you place, like Seriously, like Like just I understand like in, uh, in not, space engineers. Yeah, like plane, you don't need it in survival no. mode, but you definitely need it in creative mode. Like mm -hmm. hands down. Like if you don't if you don't want to have it in survival mode, I get that. That's fine. Survival mode, like you know, you can suck it up. But creative mode, like guys, come on, come on here. No one wants to have to try and duplicate everything and then realize you screwed up like one pattern, and the whole <laughs> thing's off. <laughs> Mr. Bee's knees. Oh dear, the dog has vomited. Oh boy. Oh boy, Mr. Bee's knees. That Hope sounds your dog's okay. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's like the cats when uh, when the girlfriend's not around the house, they like to. They like to poop in random spots. So you come home one day and you're just like, what smells like cat poop? And it's, uh, yeah. Then you usually have to play like, let's find the cat poop. It's good times. It's a good- <laughs> Follow your nose. <laughs> it's like my favorite game to play, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Not really at all. Yeah, they... Hawk makes a good point. This is totally the PUBG playing. I've been playing too much PUBG, bro. You know what? I was playing PUBG today with Scrapman. Uh -huh. And then I realized when I'm full-time YouTuber, like, I'm going to be playing a lot of PUBG. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was, I was sitting there during the day. We were actually, I was talking to him about it because I was, I wanted to get some advice from him about it because obviously Scrapman's been a full-time YouTuber for a while now, right? And, uh, you know, he knows a little bit about what he's doing. I mean, sometimes. But yeah, he's been, <laughs> he's been a full-time YouTuber for a while, so I was talking to him about it and, you know, getting some advice and stuff. And, you know, it's obviously, it's a very different, you know, I'm digging this front now. I wasn't. Yeah, it looks cool, dude. I wasn't before, but now like it tapers properly. Like it, it looks pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, this cockpit looks sick. Okay. I mean, I could. I think put... it looks awesome. I think it looks a lot better than it did before. That's for sure. Yeah, no, this is for sure. You see the Seuss Ein Hu, Cosmo. What? Tell Khan to build three elevator shaft. That when you press the button, it will send the nearest elevator. That's a sweet idea. Yeah, right. I, I think, except what? I, I think I'll do it with uh, two. I would do it with two, but then if you're, if you're talking, okay. So let's be real. If you're talking about doing an elevator that doesn't just go to whatever floor you're talking, then you need a few different things. Number one, you need to have a memory function that stores which floors it needs to hit. So if you select like I want to go to the fifth floor and the sixth floor and the seventh floor and the eighth floor, it has to start behaving like a real elevator. That's a cool project though. Maybe I'll look at building like a five floor elevator that actually works like a real five floor elevator where you can pick any number of, you know, floors and it'll hit all those floors in order before it, you know, so you can hit all five buttons and then the buttons will light up and all that. But may maybe I'll think about doing that. That's a cool idea. Neat, neat idea for sure. What is this you're building? Um, PUBG plane. 
big plane. Ah, so a C-130 Hercules. Well, yes. I'm not actually building a PUBG plane, but apparently that's what it's being dubbed now, is the PUBG plane. Work for me? Is it supposed to fly, or...? Yeah, I actually, I was gonna just mount it on, like, a stand. So just... you're building a model? No, I'm not, actually. It's always just gonna fly. Uh, okay. <laughs> you don't we'll... sound very confident we'll in that. See. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know, that's my real life brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why that's why he'll give me a hard time on just about everything I do in life. <laughs> just just in case you're wondering, it's just he's like, yeah, he just kind of comes and hangs out. All right, this is this is this is the hard part now. Is how do you get the well, I'm going to put a line here in the middle. Hey, I'm not fast jogging. Very happy with what you're making. Okay, this is this is looking terrible. <laughs> Not looking too bad, dude. That glass looks. There's too much glass there, though. That bothers me. It'd be way too much glass. It needs to be a lot less. Ba -ba -ba. I like, was napping, and then I woke up to a notification that you're streaming. And I'm like, whoop, I'm late again. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not too worried. The stream actually took a while to get going today for some reason. Like the the chat. I don't know if it was a while for YouTube's notifications to go out or what the deal was there, but chat right. didn't really accelerate as fast as I thought it would. Which isn't a big deal, it's just it was weird. It was like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Omega Archer, Cosmodo, you should make a flying potato. Kind of like what Khan is making. <laughs> guys, guys, this is the coolest <laughs> flying potato, though. Like, this, He's this, wrecked, son. <laughs> this flying potato is He's so cool. Yeah, I realize that. <laughs> listen, guys, listen. I'm sick of your attitude, okay? <laughs> Anybody doesn't like my flying potato? <laughs> feel free to make your own flying potato, okay? <laughs> Hashtag flying potato. But I'm not I'm not hearing none of this negativity about my <laughs> epic flying potato, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, let me do that. Four square RC kind of actually made a gyro for his blimp. Yes, so I did. Go check that out. I did indeed. That's because the blimp used an autopilot, and so it needed a a, a gyro. Um, but no, I needed a gyro on the blimp to to make the autopilot work. So I did that. Oh, this is gonna be great, man. Let's look at this. We've got we've got what? places to put glass now. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, nope, awesome, that's not. Did you just say potatoes are awesome? <laughs> yeah, just like a random, I like potatoes. <laughs> I like? Judge just said potatoes are awesome. I'm like, I don't know what we're talking about, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, Mark trying to put glass into a potato. Well, I'm, I, it's a giant potato. Leave me alone, okay? You know what? I'm sick of everyone <laughs> commenting on my potato. My, <laughs> <laughs> you alright there, buddy? No, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Khan's flying potato confirmed. Now the whole chat's just all about flying potatoes. Flying potato simulator 2017. Alright, you know what? Fine. <laughs> building a flying potato. <laughs> no, building a cargo plane. Flying potato simulator 2017. <laughs> The people demanded that I change the game name. That makes total sense to me. Fantastic. Alright, there you go, guys. Check out the stream name. It is now... We're now playing Flying Potato Simulator. 2017. Best stream name ever. Make Twin Potato Towers. Oh my god, that's so bad. We're not... We're not crashing a flying potato plane into a flying potato tower. That is... That is... That is not a good... Not a good vibe. Hey, this is, you know, this is actually looking looking pretty decent. I'm just going to cut a hole in the roof because who doesn't want a hole in the roof? <laughs> Twin potato towers. 
<laughs> he's just getting around to reading yeah, that. Yeah, he's, he's just getting around. Don't worry, he's, he'll, he'll pick up. I'm he'll... watching the live stream. It's got at least a five second delay on it. Yeah. Do you have a, a Google profile name, that like a YouTube name that's not your own personal? It's German. What do you expect? Do I have you as a mod? Type my chat. I don't, I don't see you typing in my chat yet. Still waiting. <laughs> Still waiting. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Uh, that's you, like German who said flying potato. Poop shoot 20 seats. <laughs> is this... Is, <laughs> hey, 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 German. Are you the one who actually said, like, flying yeah. potato there? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> yes, yes, that was me. All right. You're now mod, so you can you can time people out if they start acting inappropriate. You're giving me way too much power, buddy. Uh, well, that's I that's what. Well, you know, if Co I figure if <laughs> take it away, take it away. Cosmo can keep you in line, maybe. That's the thing. I got mods a, can't keep other mods in line. I got a mod for my mod, so you can mod the mods while you mod. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, bro, I heard you like mods. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Pretty much. Hundred percent. All right, uh, they, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just like doing stuff. This actually, this actually looks pretty decent. I think as a cockpit. Oh, maybe those are a little bulbous. I gotta fix that a little bit. Actually, not looking too too shabby. Uh, gonna put this up a little bit more like that. Want a little bit smaller windows there. Then like that. Perfect. Welcome today to Khan's stream where he tries to be Howard Hughes all over again. What do you mean trying to be Howard Hughes? What? The guy who designed the, the giant Oh, the giant spruce, spruce goose. goose? Yeah, the big yeah. wooden and plane. Everyone thought he was batshit crazy. Hey man, it worked. And it, and it actually flew? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it had a problem with the whole engines being, you know, fire-burning engines with wood and plane, but... No, it actually, like, I kid you not, World War II design, it actually... No, I know, it flew, and it landed on water. They just, they didn't want to have, you know, a fireproof or a uh, flammable plane with flaming <laughs> engines. Which, I mean, is kind of understandable. All right, let's, let's save this real quick. Yeah, I, I think you should. I mean, it looks pretty decent, I think. The front end looks okay. Okay, let's save this as the flying potato. Oh yeah, it totally looks like a flying potato. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. We're really not gonna get a lot done this stream, I'm realizing. It's already like quarter to eight. I'm technically supposed to go record multiplayer Monday in 15 minutes. Like, ha, that's gonna happen. <laughs> wow. I know, right? And so far we've gotten like a cylindrical shell with a pencil head on it. This might, this might be a stream that I might have to continue in more parts probably build like more of the I, I don't I don't even think I'm gonna get like the thrusters hooked up here this you should uh, make some like pre-built components and then in the next stream you should attach them that's what I'm thinking too but uh, in the meantime let's put some wings on this thing cuz uh, you know we're gonna need wings so let's just build a wing I feel like you should just renamed it the Hindenburg the what the Hindenburg the Hindenburg it kind of looks like the Hindenburg. dude that looks cool I know right the front view looks like sweet like, I'm really digging the way the front turned out. I didn't think it was going to look good at all, but I actually really like the way the front looks. I agree. I, th I think it looks sweet. Can you tell Khan Gaming the flying potato yards. crayon is coming together? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I think, hold on, let's just, you know what, let's just rename this. Building a flying potato crayon plane storing. What else did people call this again? Uh, pixel circle pixel circle scrap mechanic actually pixel oval <laughs> there we go somebody made that correction oh pixel oval okay here we go <laughs> there you go building a fly potato crayon building a flying potato crayon plane storing pixel oval wait why is it a storing cargo plane pixel oval jeez i'm, I'm not even i was thinking the plane's gonna store stuff there we go all right there you go guys that's the new stream name um, welcome to my streams, Memzis. Mem Memzis, is that your name? Normally, this is not how my streams go, but um, you know we're having a good we're having a good time today. We're just I'm just gonna delete this because I don't like it. <laughs> 
We're just, you know, we're just having, we're just having a relaxing sort of stream day. We're taking it everything sort of light and breezy, feeling fresh. Someone <laughs> says, please upload PUBG. Magnus, we rage too much when we played. PUBG. Yeah, Pub PUBG's not a family. Someone actually asked if you could do a left foot reveal. <laughs> <laughs> just, just throw your foot up in the stream. Hold on, I can't, I can't even. Okay, hold on, I can't even read. Really it's not up. flexible enough. I gotta, I gotta you get gotta this all set. Strategy. Hold on. Oh, let me let me aim this. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's my that's my chair. You can see there my lovely. This is really awkward. Okay, there's kids screaming in the hallway. Okay, hold on here. Hold on. <clears throat> I have a sock on. This is my left foot. They wanted a left foot reveal. My girl, my girlfriend's looking at me like I'm kind of I'm kind of mental. I'm kind of I'm kind of handicapped apparently. <laughs> Did you guys, did you guys enjoy my left foot? Oh my god, the left foot! Yeah, that's just it. Love the sweater. Yeah, the sweater's the sweater's pretty good. It's a legitimate company in Canada. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear your girlfriend in the background. Just. Oh, good times. Welcome to welcome to streaming on YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's build a wing here. No, they want the they want the right foot. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's guys, it, guys. That's like a hundred thousand subscriber special right there. Yeah. <laughs> like the. <laughs> what? What did you do? Literally a mirror image. What'd she do? You know. What'd she do? I didn't see. Pop your head in behind you. Oh, okay. Just pop your head in. It's like that time I threw up a help me sign. The in right, the yeah, no, guys, the. The right, the right, yeah, my girlfriend, you guys, you guys have seen my girlfriend before, this is like, she's been, she's been around. That sounded horrible. Your girlfriend's been <laughs> that around? Does, that does sound horrible, that doesn't does sound horrible. it? <laughs> like, yeah, my girlfriend, she's been around. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Do English my face? Sucks. What do you mean, do my face? I'm so confused. <laughs> Alright, seriously guys though, I am gonna try and actually like build a plane wing here. What are you laughing at? The comments about your hoodie. <laughs> My hoodie's the best, okay? <laughs> like as much as I love these comments, I have to delete some of them, so <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't Why does your shirt show comments. two animals doing the dirty? Okay, my shirt says Buffalo Inspection Company. We don't screw around. <laughs> Because they, they don't. They're the Buffalo And it's a inspector. legitimate company, so... It's a legitimate company that inspects Buff Buffalo for, you know, I guess, like, worms. cattle. Worms, cattle or, disease. Or whatever, yeah. They actually, it's a uh, it's a welding inspection. They do x-ray tech welding on... Okay, so perfect. Well, so it's a welding inspection company <laughs> that apparently <laughs> has to deal with Buffalo. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Buffalo. It's just called Buffalo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like well, how I mean, we just made up a story behind the image. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there is a company there is a company in my in the town I live in, um, and they're called the Ball Service Group. <laughs> and uh I'm not even joking, yeah, there's just a company called the Ball Service Group and they're metal fabricators. They have nothing to do with servicing balls, but they uh they call themselves the ball service group, which not I was ball bearings? No, no. Literally like they just do like sheet metal stuff, but they call themselves <laughs> the ball service group. And also BJ Salon. Oh yeah, and BJ's hair salon. It's always fun. They messed up my hair one time. Did they? I've never been there. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> okay, I won't. Put feet instead of landing gear. Yeah, I oh, saw that, that but I'm 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 thinking <laughs> I want my plane to roll and not to just like be like a bird. Not roll. A really long bird. I'm thinking this wing's not big enough. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna make the wing thicker. I'm just trying to see like the overall size and length and stuff. Definitely too small. Like, obviously, I don't want it too big, because scrap mechanic wings don't really matter, but I want to have it, like, relatively proportioned. Kind of, maybe. Make the wings flap. I like that one. Oh, my God, <laughs> really? The wings flap. You want to see one thirty with yes. flapping wings? Yeah, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. That looks, you know, that looks decent. That looks like, um... That no, looks good. I like it. 
Then we'll just put another one here. We're listening to some like weird like speed core stuff today for some reason. It's not even speed core, it's like, I don't know. My skills are undeniable. I can place wood better than anybody else. My girlfriend's laughing at me. This is my new song for the day, guys. I heard that, yeah. <laughs> In the I background, just hear like a... life has become. Yeah, I know, right? Place wood better than anyone else. Yeah. I'm the best wood placer. She's still laughing at me. I don't know how to make her stop. Honestly, that's the thing with building big projects like this is like we haven't even done any of the cool stuff like controls None of that. It's just what have you done? We built some wings Built built a giant fuselage. I mean that's this is really where we're at nice. I'm bragging yeah, I'm, I'm totally I'm totally bragging here, man No one no one places wood as good as me. That's I, I think that's possibly the, like the most embarrassing thing to brag about. Yo, what 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 are you uh, good at? Well, I'm good at placing blocks in a pixel. I'm completely joking, by the way, but I, I think that's uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, the question is where to position these wings. Like a normal C-130 has them like right in the middle because they're trying to absorb the weight, right? I think. Cargot plane. Yeah, they go like in the middle almost. Because they're trying to absorb the weight of the cargo, right? That's what it comes down to. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. Nah, we're starting up a new lawnmower. Getting... Chase, building a flying potato crayon carbon cargo pick plane pixel oval with a left foot, welding inspection, a girlfriend that is around quotations is the best live I've ever seen and I've seen a guy pour lemon juice in his eyes. <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> we're not doing that, okay? We're not we're not we're not putting lemon juice in the old eyeballs today. Yeah. Lemon juice uh, lemon juice to the eye. Lemon juice in the eye as well. Yeah, might as well just really get it going, eh? The problem is I can't even tell like how this stuff's positioned. Like there's no way of getting a good. That seems too far back. It also seems way too small of a wing. My wing is way too small. It needs to be way bigger, way wider. This is like a giant cargo plane and I'm giving it these tiny little wings. Like, yeah. No, this is not, this is not acceptable. We'll delete this. Delete you, yes, because you're useless. And then we'll cut this in half. All right, let's just do this. People are saying that doesn't look like a plane, except everybody who's saying that has never seen a cargo plane in that case before, because if you look at like the Antona, for example, it's the wings are in with... fact attached to the top of the fuselage and not down the middle, so. And do you know why? Yes. But do they know why? No. One sec, I'm There's a learning with... moment for you. Isn't it, it's, <laughs> it's roll stability, isn't it? Because you're putting your point of lift above your center of gravity, so it naturally keeps the plane wanting to stay level. Or am I crazy? I thought that's what it was for. Anybody? No, Bueller. Bueller. This is this no, is typical. It, no, yeah, you're right. It's for typ stability. Typical and German. He's all like, "Hey, do you know why I'm gonna ask you a question?" <laughs> Disappears. <laughs> User has Sorry, left your chip. Oh yeah, he's. Did, we were saying how it's for roll stability, Paul. Honestly, how it's for roll I'm stability. Pretty sure that in, uh, weight, weight, um, well, the reason the wings are in the center, center is weight distribution. Of mass, right? Yeah, but that's that's the, what gives you roll stability, right? But the weight, the wings are in the center of your cargo bay so that you get nice, um, 
weight distribution. So when you load up your cargo, they have to measure how much they put in the front versus the back. But but yeah, it's all that's it's your, all roll stability. Pitch. That's your pitch stability instead of your cargo placement. Kind of. Your that's cargo the has to, a big part of it. Your cargo bay has to be centered around your center of lift, right? If it's not, then you're wasting your time. These wings still aren't going to be big enough, I don't think. I should go back to playing uh, Kerbal Space Program. It'll teach me all about these things again. <laughs> right? Well, I took, like, I was, it was funny. When I was in my fourth year of engineering, like, or I guess fifth year, whatever you want to call it, but when I was in my last year of engineering, I, uh, you get the option to take a bunch of courses, and I took, like, a master's course in aerodynamics just because it was fascinating. And uh, I didn't do very well in it. Like, I got, like, a 74, which I guess is okay, but, like, not, you know, 80s or anything like that. But it was, it was a very cool course, but they talk about all that stuff and, like, you know, some of the bigger planes as examples. And, like, the fact that, you know, oh, friggin' cat hair in my face, but um, the fact that your plane can have holes in the wing and it doesn't matter because the wing itself is not what's causing you lift. It's the effective pressure bubble that sits underneath the wing, right? So it acts as, like, a virtual wing almost. So the wing that's actually causing lift on your plane is not the same as the wing. It's it's the aerodynamic cord is what you care about, which when you put flaps down, the cord is from the bottom tip of the flap to the very front tip of the plane, and it creates this sort of imaginary line, and everything within that is your pressure bubble, and that's how the plane flies. It's really cool stuff. It's cool math, too. Um, for any of you guys who are interested, I encourage you to learn. Because, you know... Rambo Cambo, should I be concerned about Khan? Why? Yes, yes you should. Why? Yes, what did I do? Nothing. What's wrong? What did I do? <laughs> ah! Case like, point. My girlfriend's just laughing at me every time. She's just like, you're an idiot. And I'm like, yay, I'm, I got noticed. <laughs> Send by notice me. What? What'd you say? I'm not an idiot? I said you're not an idiot. Even if you are, you're not. Oh, good. <laughs> Somebody's got to love that idiot, right? Apparently, that's, that's basically what she... <laughs> all I heard is, you're not an idiot, but on the off chance that you are an idiot, I still love you. <laughs> but you're, you're kind of an idiot. Uh, good times. I'm just in a good mood today, guys. I'm in a, I've been in a good mood this week. You know, knowing that I actually have an end date for my job is kind of nice. So, you know, there's that. Three weeks, my man. Yeah, give or take. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's put some some giant potato wedges on this potato plane. Let's save our potato wedges first. <laughs> Max Newland, I mean, I'm interested, but I just got back from school and I don't want to listen to someone explain something. <laughs> hey man, I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> this wing looks kind of. I don't know if I want I want to curve the ends more or not. I mean, I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> All right, so. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm totally gonna leave the name, the stream really name as is. Wings, this well, dude, this is scrap mechanic. Like, you just, you literally just put detail into everything. That's. I get it. I, I would have just built a straight line out and called it a day. Well, yeah. I mean, I probably could have done that. Just to give you a reference point to start with, but you know, this is hardcore. So that's how scrap mechanic is, man. I spend, I spend way too much time working on nitpicky details, and then when I actually make a video about it, I don't even, like, look at the nitpicky details. There's been so many times where I make something, and I'm like, oh, man, this is really good. Like, I love the detail I put on this, and then I don't even show it when I get into the video. I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll just skip right over that. Like, prime example. Yeah, so I'm going to start with a couple on-off switches here, guys, and I built a computer. Yeah. <laughs> No, like like my last video, I made the um, I made the drift car, right? And I I even I went through and did the whole drift car and put underglow on it and all that stuff and you know all the fun stuff and had it so you could drift and counter steer and all that. But then like one of the things that's on the drift car that I didn't even mention in the video is the fact that you know when you hit forward, the brake lights shut turn off so that you know it doesn't look like you're always braking. And then when you let off the throttle, the brake lights turn back on. 
just a very minor thing to put in, you know, use a piston and a controller and all that stuff. But still, it's like, you know, I never even mentioned that I do that kind of stuff. I just sort of do it. And... It looks more like a paddle than anything else, but... Alright, let's put this, like, right there. What? What? There we go. Oh my god, my whole plane fuselage is sideways. Alright, let's uh let's put some wings on this thing. This is not working out. I need a lift right here. How do I do the brake light thing? Um, it's really simple. You just use pistons. So if you put a... Oh, here, I'll show you really quick because it'll take like two seconds. So we just put a piston, right? Like this. So you go this, and then I pulled out that twice, but it doesn't really matter. And then, you know, let's put this like here, right? And then you can put... You can do it one of two ways, but like, the, you know, you can do it this way, which is the easiest way because pistons don't have collision. And then you attach this into this, and you know, you can set this to like one or two. Generally, you know, you can loop it, but you loop it on on fast. And you hook the controller straight into that. And then this hooks into your brake light, right? Your sensor. So right now your light's on because the sensor's getting lit up by that block. But then when you apply the throttle with W, see it moves the piston away and then the brake light shuts off and you let go, right? You let go and it brings the piston back, which brings the block back. So that's, that's like a really simple, that's how you do the brake light thing. I mean, again, it's not a very big thing to put into a build. It's very small to put into a build. And it can just tie into the throttle on your car. But, um, you know, it's just a, one of those minor details that I just never mentioned. I'm just like, yeah, I put brake lights on it, but I mean, I'm not going to mention that in the video. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple stuff. Hey, uh, Blambo Cambo thinks you should be paying me. I should be paying you? Not my words, Bramble Campbell's words. I don't want to be paid. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> right, so I'm looking for new mods um, <laughs> that are willing to do it for free. <laughs> Look, I trash talked you to make me a mod, so what does that say about your recruitment program? Yeah, oh, my bam. recruitment program is pretty terrible, I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been going to like North Korea to look for top YouTube talent. Hasn't, hasn't been working out so far. I like the position of that one. Flying potato wing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's a good position for the flying potato wing. Might be a little... This potato will look great when it's cooked. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with that. Thanks, Phaser. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just draw a line here. And let's just put some stuff. Come on. Oh boy, it's not going to cooperate very much. Okay, so that... I need to weld the other wing onto the front of that. Okay, I should be able to do this. See if I can grab it. Oh, I totally can't. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we'll just grab this here. I think this is the spot. I haven't even put, like, engines on this thing yet or anything. Like, it's got so much work left to do. <laughs> yeah, Jaden's saying just think about painting this. No, man. Blueprint <laughs> editing for the win. I'm yep. not... I'm gonna flat up just tell it to replace all wood blocks with all wood oh, blocks okay. painted gray. Because I'm not... There's no way I'm gonna paint this. I agree. Painting this would be a pain in the butt. That's why I'm just... I would just uh, blueprint edit it. <laughs> Which is pretty easy to do. You just open up a text file and you just go, you know, replace all text that says this with text that says that and problem solved. It's actually looking, this is actually looking pretty good. I think it needs to be extended a little bit out the back. Leo Gamer, as much as I would like to explain the Bernoulli principle to all of chat, it is quite irrelevant to scrap mechanic. It is. <laughs> but it is how planes fly, which is kind of cool. 
a tiny little difference in pressure. The Bernoulli principle basically says that the pressure plus the potential energy of something plus it's what kinetic energy plus potential energy plus pressure has to be equal on both sides of the equation. And by doing that, you can figure out the speed, position, height, and everything of you because your potential energy is dictated by your height, which tells you everything. It's um, it's how planes do everything. It's what is it? It's like one half mv squared plus mgh plus something else plus like pq or some crap like that volumetric flow times pressure i don't know i used to know all this stuff for university guys this was like my freaking degree memorizing stupid formulas but yeah it's just science how planes fly no one really cares it doesn't apply to scrap mechanic because let's be real in scrap mechanic it's magic at the end of the day planes fly because of magic. yeah no 100 <laughs> percent like all the magicians in the world got super busy when air when airplanes became a thing But yeah, good times. All right, so just extending this back more. Then I'm going to try and put the back end on this as well. But no idea how that's going to work out for me. Yeah, I'm thoroughly surprised there's no lag yet. You're you just jinxed it. You just you know what? Like I'm just I might as well just delete this whole build right now. <laughs> done. Done. Stream over. Stream See over. Ya. Actually, I do have to end the stream here pretty soon because I do have to go record Multiplayer Monday. I, I do have to apologize, guys. I started at 6.30 today. Uh, I am going to start doing Friday streams earlier when, uh, obviously, I'm a full-timer because I'll have time to do that. Uh, I was a little late today because I was working on posting that other video as well. Um, I got a question for you. Okay. Can you not copy and paste sections of this aircraft so you don't have to keep... You, you can, but, like, it's you have to, like create it and then weld it i'm only i'm only doing this one section extended like this in manually is just because i want to um like i just want to i want to tune it a little bit Fair. like i want to just fine tune the distance that's all and i don't need to go much further than this okay i think that's well i will see you guys later all right peace man take care man yeah, because now I can start trimming this up. Alright, this is going to be... What is that noise? <laughs> are they like... What are they... Huh. Apparently, the people next door have a, uh, a very lucrative business of um, nailing n nailing hammer hammering nails into a board of wood. Um, seems to be a good hobby of theirs. Into our wall, actually, into our shared wall for some reason. Fun. Yeah, they're they're almost they're the same courteous people who leave shopping carts in the hallway of our apartment. Oh, those people. Oh yeah, and their dog pooped in the lobby and they just kind of left it there. They're a very pleasant couple. I really appreciate everything they uh, they do to make my living experience so much better. With fantastically well-behaved children. Oh yeah, their children are the best too. <laughs> no sarcasm, but... No, their, their children, honestly, I would I would have them over at my house any day of the week. <laughs> They're so good. $2 super chat from Skyfox Rar. Mmm, yummy physics talk in my ears. Yeah, man, it's delicious. But I mean, hey, we're making a giant potato flying thing, so. I gotta think about how I wanna do this cargo bay, that's the problem. Cause I want this to taper in. Yeah, I think this'll do, we'll see. Super chat. I saw that, $2 super chat. Shy Fox. With the old yummy yummy physics talk. Everybody loves physics talk, let's be real. All right, well. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna try and just finish up this tail section guys And then I think I am gonna have to like just the the back cargo door section um, But I do have to run really soon here because of uh, the good old multiplayer Monday recording So I don't want to leave those guys hanging because we all do have very busy schedules And it's my own fault for starting late not theirs. So I can't really Leave them hanging too long. So we're gonna stream for another like, you know 10 minutes here And then I'm going to uh, get going Unfortunately, 
But I will definitely come back with this in another stream very, very soon because I think what I'll do in the next stream is I'll have the whole body of the plane finished with like the landing gear and the, the, um, the cargo bay door and all that. And then we'll work on putting in all the thrusters and putting in the controls and getting the whole thing flying in the next stream because I think that'll take a lot of effort as well. But I don't want to leave the other guys waiting too, too long. But I think, yeah, that'll be a good a good second stream. But I don't want to have to do another stream of placing wood blocks. I'd rather do that in my own time and uh, not bore you guys to death with my awesome potato. All right, let's just do this. Cut that there. Cut that there. Like I said, guys, I'm in a great mood. Maybe the only reason I'm in a great mood is because I quit my job. Oh, that's, that's a very sad reality. Honestly, you know what? And here's the thing. Like, if you guys want to do YouTube, and, you know, anybody who wants to do YouTube, I only have one piece of advice for you. And uh, I'll give it to you for 100% for free. If you want to grow your channel, there's only two things you need to know. One of which is you need to understand 100% what makes you different from everyone else. What is the reason that people are going to come to your channel? Why are they going to come and watch your videos compared to anyone else's videos? And it's one of the hardest questions to answer. But you have to figure out what makes you different. Because there's a lot of people doing pretty much everything you can imagine on the internet. So what makes you different is the first question. And then the second thing, once you figure that out, you need a ton of dedication. You need to be dedicated to posting videos. You can't be like, oh... I get so many requests where it's like, check out my channel, and then they haven't posted a video in like five months. And it's like, well, you know, I don't know how you're expecting to grow if you're not posting any content. And that's, you know, the two biggest things. If you know exactly what you want and what you are and what your audience can expect, and then you know uh, how to post on a regular basis, then uh, you should be just fine. Having fancy equipment and all that stuff is really not nearly as important as people think it is. Too many people who were like, all right, I bought like millions of dollars worth of equipment. Where are all my subscribers? It's like, it doesn't really work that way. I'm gonna, gonna throw it out there. And honestly, I didn't know when I first started my channel what I what my unique thing was. I had no idea. I just started making videos and then it turned out you guys liked complicated things in Scrap Mechanic. So I kept building more complicated things in Scrap Mechanic. And then eventually it got to the point where it was like, oh, Logic actually does really well for me. And people like hearing my, you know, spiels about logical crap. And then that's where my channel went, right? And it's like, you know, but that, I, I didn't figure that out on my own. I figured that out because you guys sort of guided me to it. We're getting there. This is looking all right. But anyways, that's that's my only advice to anybody who is looking to start a channel. And I'm not saying, you know, go start a YouTube channel. You're a loser if you don't start a YouTube channel or anything like that. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm saying if you are interested in it, that's the only piece of advice I could really give you is be committed to it. It is a lot of work. I've been working two jobs for the last, almost the last two years. And it's for sure been worth it, but it's, I mean, it was, it's been a lot of work. There's been days where it's like, I really don't want to have to do anything. And uh, you still have to, you know, get stuff done. So it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. You can't just make videos and then just, you know, oh, make videos. Now I make millions of dollars. Doesn't, doesn't work that way at all. And no one's going to hand you stuff for free unless you're willing to work for it. Like that's sort of the way the world works. Anyways, that's my spiel about YouTube stuff. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. Alright, how's this doing today? There we go. That just looks like a flat surface. It needs to slope in more. You're a logic guy, Mubo is a vehicle guy, Komodo is a building guy, and Scrapman is insane. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, that's that's usually how it goes, right? Like, but like I said though, like it took me a while to figure out that I was, you know, a logic guy, right? That's not what I originally was going to do with my channel, and then it turns out I was like, oh, this actually works really well. I guess I should keep doing that with my channel. This is actually looking, this is looking pretty decent. I 
don't know if that... Do, do I want to do it like that? Yeah, I probably do. I mean, we'll see how it looks. I'm not really too concerned. How's this... Looking? Oh, sorry, I had to go feed my cat. Not allowed. <laughs> Still looking for new mod, guys. Cosmos clearly just breaking <laughs> all the rules. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna just try. And, I actually, I'm not even gonna get this back door finished. I don't want to keep the other gents waiting, but uh, all right, we're gonna just try and lip this last little bit here, and just try and finish some stuff here. Ask Khan. Oh, I, I missed the riddle. What was the riddle? Oh, if, uh, if you're a plane engineer and you notice survivor planes have holes in the wings and in their body, which part do you reinforce? So I guess if you... Huh? Well, I'm confused. If, if a plane crashes and you notice it has holes in the wings and holes in the body, which part would you reinforce in the future design? Is, am I understanding that right? Well, holes in the wing don't actually matter. Holes in the body do. Depends. I mean, if you're if you if a plane crashes and you see that the the point where the wing meets the body is under structural stress, then the issue is with your body, not with your wing. Right. I don't. I don't. I'm still confused about the question. Me too. Maybe, uh, maybe you can clear it up. This is so hard to figure out if it's identical now or not, though. <laughs> Alright, let's just loop this. Let's flip this so I'm on the sun side. It's gonna be cool, though, when you can, uh... This is gonna have a lot of ground clearance. Holy cow. A lot of underhead space. This is gonna be cool, though, when you can go up into the, the cockpit here. Right. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be sweet, especially in like first person. I'm gonna try flying this plane in first person when uh, when I get the whole thing wired up, but uh, yeah, not right now, obviously, because but that's that's sweet. Then you can get out and still kind of get down there. And we've got this massive cargo bay, and we're gonna have to have thrusters like probably under the floor and up on the roof, but that's looking pretty slick. All right, well, as much as I would like to finish this back end right now, um, it is going to take a little bit more symmetry and a little bit more work and stuff. And I do have to run to do some multiplayer Monday. So I am going to end the stream. I know I didn't get nearly as much done as I would have liked to on the flying potato plane. But uh, I think what I'll do is next week when I'm streaming, I will keep working on the plane as part of the stream. So I'll try and get all the body shape done. I'm probably going to cut this extended out a little bit more to make that a little bit longer, but I'll try and get the whole body and the wings and like the tail and stuff done, but I'm not going to put any controls on it or any thrusters or anything like that, but I'll try and get at least the body done. So that's all done for the next stream. And then next stream we'll wire up the plane and uh, put all the thrusters on it and put like, you know, the back door on it and that sort of thing and get all that. But uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, if you haven't already, uh, always new content coming out. I do have another video coming out tomorrow. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it'll probably be sometime a little bit later in the day tomorrow, but I, I have been working on a bunch of different cool things. So I do have another video coming out tomorrow. And then, of course, uh, I might do some more logic bots or something for Sunday. But make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And uh, like I said, sorry I started late. I know uh, everyone wants me here a little bit earlier. But uh, I was running some errands out in town. And I had to eat and all that. So uh, make sure you guys hit those buttons. And uh, shout out to Caden. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And I'll see you all next time. By the way, shout out to Caden, and to Everything Theory, and to Blambo Cambo, and to...
Poopley Plays, and to Ying Yang Ninja, Ryan Zucker, Jacob Destroyer, Ryan Jones, Luke, Kitty Boy, The Skyline Guy, Matthew, JSPN, Jacob, UNC Swag, Tom, Matthew, Dr. Ballistic, TNVG, Ryan, Jack, Death Waffle, Fly Guy, Shift Off, and I'll see y'all later.